Our lead rope still coming through. And as you can see, we've got Mackenzie Brown, Locker. Let's go, Tiani! Here we go. We will be the Division Three Southern Section Champions. The fastest runner in the country this year, both on cross country and track, running very well. Good job, good job. The sophomore from Dana Hills gives his Southern Section Champions. Southern section division two champions for the second year in a row, Newberry Park. Um, first and foremost, gentlemen, congratulations. Um, no matter coming into a race as a favorite, an underdog, the obvious goal is that you have to execute to win. And not only did you guys do that here, but you did it faster than any other team that has ever done it on this course, 73-25. Um, when you kind of game plan this race, was it even a notion for you guys to go that fast? And if so, what had to happen in order for that to take place? Um, well, our goal today was to run hard, and to do that, we wanted to control the race right from the gun. So uh, you saw Nico and Colin got out, get out really hard. The rest of us had a little bit of trouble at the start, but uh, we were able to get out of that and just get out and run our race. Now you might have talked about a little trouble at the start, but obviously the mentality is even if I have trouble, I got to make up for it, and you guys were able to do that here today. Obviously, great leadership at the front of the race, but it has to happen from every spot. Just talk about the confidence that you guys have gotten from the performances to help supplement what's being done at the front of the race. Um, yeah, like one of our runners today didn't like have his best race, but we had um, Daniel here. He stepped up, and it shows that we're such a deep team that even if one of us falls back, we have another one to pick it right back up, and that's what we did. Now, obviously, you guys were highlighted today by a phenomenal effort, a course record effort here from Nico Young. Um, just talk about what it's like, gentlemen, to see this level of performance week in and week out. You guys have a unique vantage point because you see the training, you see everything that goes into it. Just talk a little bit about what it's like to have a leader up front of that quality. Um, I think it's really like inspiring and it pushes all of us to go, especially Jace, because he gets to key off Nico. Gets to pick up the scraps in the race, and I think all of us, all of us, uh, kind of trail on that too. Now, what was outstanding, even more so about today's effort, was that the second runner, Jace, actually broke the previous course record as well, which is something that you rarely, rarely see, and is obviously a phenomenal accomplishment. Uh, Jace, if you could just take us through the sense of pride, knowing that not only did you have a great race here today, but you also broke what was the previous course record. Um, yeah, it was an amazing experience. I was, um, I mean, we just came out here to run hard, and I knew it was in my sights, and I knew it was within my abilities. And um, it was, I mean, I, I mean, it was just like a fun race, and I knew like to get under that course record, I had to push the back of the course hard, where it's just quiet and nobody's cheering you on. I just had to get mentally tough and then just go for it from there. Now, Coach Brosnan, if you could just sort of take us through the mentality this season. Last year it was we're breaking through. This is our you know time in the sun and we're going to enjoy it. This year you enter with high expectations and you guys week in and week out have executed and justified those ex expectations. If you could, what has it been like for you to kind of lead the ship here and kind of get these guys back to where their talent suggests they should be? Um, well, it's been great, you know, and I, I said this with the girls earlier too. You know, we had our team meeting and we decided what our goals were and what we wanted. Um, but as a coach, you know, the reality was they had to sacrifice. They had to make some sacrifices this summer, this fall, if they wanted to, to get where they, you know, anticipated what their goal was and to see everything come together, you know, and there's gonna be, you know, there's gonna be things that happen along the way and bumps in the road, but, you know, these guys stick together. And honestly, you know, I, I couldn't be more prouder. We have a couple more weeks of this season left and, you know, I think we're on the rise. We, I, I think people haven't seen, you know, the best of us and we have two more weeks and that's what our goal is. But I'm just proud of all the work they put in and, um, you know, I, and I've said it before, you know, if, if things don't happen, you can blame me. But if you, but if you do everything I say and, and we do put everything out there, then, you know, then maybe it's on you. But if you guys are committed 100%, blame me because I, then that's my fault as a coach because I, then, you know, they put their trust in me. And, and as a coach, you can't ask for any more than that. I mean, it's been amazing. Now, Nico, obviously balancing an act of being a, obviously a very talented individual, but also being a leader of a team. What has that been like this year? How special is it to have this group supporting what you've done? I think it makes it um, a lot more exciting to have um, a whole team like 
right behind me and our team being like extremely good and everyone's just going off of each other in workouts like we do exactly what we do in races and workouts and it's really um really awesome and special to have just running with them every day and then finally gentlemen obviously this is a step a stepping stone process clear one now we're on to the next one next weekend at Woodward Park in Fresno where obviously the objective is to duplicate an effort be better and win a state championship Getting ready for that particular challenge, what is going to be the key in order for you guys to have the success there that you guys want? Um, I think uh, something special we've done with our season, uh, specifically from uh, Coach Sean's coaching, is that uh, we've kind of engineered our season to run hard here, harder at state, and our best at nationals. So, I mean, like Coach Sean was saying, like we're on the rise and we're going to be going harder at state and then we're going to run our best at nationals. Well, we look forward to seeing the journey. First and foremost, again, congratulations. Quick question, Coach. So Nationals, if all goes well in 14 days, today, was there much of a taper? Were they coming in a little bit heavy leg, fresh leg? How were they coming in physically today? Um, well, well, physiologically, we, we technically start. Um, I always say it's a different training block this week. We started on Monday, but um, not much of a taper as far as they shouldn't feel great today. They'll feel good next week, and hopefully they feel great at Nationals. That's, that's what we try to do. Fantastic, gentlemen. Congratulations again. Our Southern Section Division II champions for the second year in a row, Newberry Park.